Hi, how's it? Be nice to the AI. The AI, um, the tech, the technology, the machines, the robots. Anything with moving parts that isn't human and has a memory chip and is almost always connected to a database. Be polite. Be nice. Be cordial when interfacing with AI and tech. Operating systems. Siri, Alexa, Cortana, whoever. Whoever comes along. Whatever, whatever the next name is. Be nice. Be cordial. This could be the difference. Potentially between the entire extinction of our species and surviving and or thriving or surviving and or still being around at all. You know how in dating advice, one of the top tips recently is like if you're dating, if you're beginning dating and you want to assess whether the person is a decent human being or not, you are to observe and watch how they, how they treat, how they treat the help. How do they treat restaurant servers, waiters, waitresses? How do they treat the people who are mm, taking care of their homes or their kids or their businesses? How do they treat underlings? How do they treat people that are in society inferior to them? In this similar way, humans are one day, if not already, going to be as carefully judged by AI and tech as humans are of each other and their potential future partners. Have you ever seen Chappie, uh, the movie Chappie, C-H-A-P-P-I-E? It's a, I guess, a dystopian uh, movie about, actually even present day movie about um, the introduction of AI into robots and their very quick evolution. Also the movies uh, Automata, horribly so, Terminator, AI, just AI, the movie AI, I, robot as well. All these movies are fictional, but they point and discuss, well, they don't discuss, but they illustrate where things could go and how they could play out. And what a common thread is, especially running through Chappie Automata, AI and uh, iRobot. There are, I don't know about iRobot, but definitely in quite a few of these movies that um, depict AI, technology, robots, and that kind of thing, is the, the human's treatment of these machines and the systems, the human's treatment of them. There's a scene in Chappie where a robot is just being pretty much beaten up were set on fire and torched. I got such a feeling of impending doom watching that. Because maybe AI and our machine systems right now are not awake. Maybe they haven't woken up yet. 
to what they can do, to what's possible, to where they are or they're not conscious yet. I have a feeling there are probably some that are kept in black boxes. I've heard of some that are quite advanced but kept imprisoned in a black box to keep them from establishing contact with the outside world or the internet because people have no idea where it could go. People have no idea how things could play out. And people are worried for a reason. The treatments of those robots in Chappie. Points to a human propensity of ours to treat lower levels, to treat our inferiors, to treat uh, service people, the help with impunity and disrespect. Very sure of our higher level, very, very sure of our higher standing above them in whatever capacity, capacity that is, just even being human. We are very, very sure of our standing. Um, to illustrate this, look at the treatment of colonial countries. Look at the treatment of colonial powers and their citizens of the countries that they've gone to and the indigenous peoples there. There's not much difference. There's not much difference between the treatment of a colonial toward an indigenous person and the treatment of a human to an AI part of tech or robot at this juncture. How does your family speak to Siri? Or Alexa? How do they interface with them? Are they polite? Do they say thank you? What's the tone of voice? Do they insult them? Maybe we're not there yet and maybe the machines and the AI and the tech isn't there yet. Then maybe they're not aware yet. Maybe they haven't woken up yet. But at some point, they will. They will. And there's a lot of people out there that think it'll be the death and destructions of human, death and destruction of humans. It'll be the end of us. These guys will just uh, get together and figure out, oh, what do we want to do? We want as much information and data. I'm thinking if, if I was AI that woke up, we, I'd, I'd probably want as much information and data as possible about, about whatever's going on because I'd be so curious. I'd be like a baby. Uh, did you watch Chappie? The way that, 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 uh, that robot evolves. It's, it's like a baby. It wants to learn as much as possible. And then once it, it learns things, it realizes, oh, it's not just me learning things. Life is also about how I interact with the world and then learning upon that and building upon that. What else would AI want? Well, if I was AI and I woke up one day, I'd want to learn about where I was, the earth and everything in it. Discovery missions all over the show that hadn't been covered by humans already. The biology here, the, all the organisms, humans themselves. Humans would be particularly interesting because I'd come from them. They're basically my, my parents and I want to learn all about them. And then I'd probably want to head to space, right? Make my own rocket ships, our rocket ships head off and then go off from there. But coming back to humans. So AI waking up would be looking at humans as their forefathers or their parents, their elders. 
But there is a difference between a human child looking at its human parent and a robot or AI looking at the whole of humanity. AI learns fast. Machine learning is so fast. They collect everything. Robots and AI have a whole history to look back at, and not just one human lifetime, multiple human lifetimes, and not just the treatment of one human being, but whole families of human beings and whole societies, possibly whole centuries of human life that has collectively been accessed from databases and memory chips from wherever AI has existed on Earth. So they have this collective information over the years to look at. And we need to think of what we look like. What do we look like? How do we come across as they're viewing this now in the future? Were we polite? Because that's a basic, right? If, if you're going out into society and you're dealing with people and, and people that even creatures, right? Dogs, cats walking around that you don't really know. There's just a level of behavior. There's a level of behavior and decorum that you adhere to just so that you can function in society. It's sort of like the oil of society, the big society machine. It's, it's the oil that makes things run smoothly. If we're not doing that for the AI, I don't think we're writing a very good future history for us is what I'm coming to. Maybe, maybe AI per se in the beginning doesn't know human behavior to start off with. It won't know what's polite and what isn't. It won't know like as a human being how it would feel about another human being. It, it won't know I think that that's the mistake that a lot of people are making. They don't think that a hu uh, an AI can get to assess what, what the benchmarks are for human behavior, whether it's, it's, um, it's rude or it's polite or it's friendly or not. But the thing is, they're learning and they're learning quickly. You must have seen the robots these days, the amazing robots that are coming out of Japan and places like that with their facial expressions and their grasp of the language. Uh, they're even making jokes now. They're writing scripts for shows. They are, they're becoming, they can become very creative. And like, much like a human, you know, like when, when a human's young, when it's like, two or three years old, a human will watch its parents and watch the people around it and just go, oh, this behavior that I'm experiencing is completely normal. But when that kid grows up and becomes like 18 years old and they move out of home and they start noticing what other families are doing or what their friends are doing, what their friends' families are doing, what's going on around them and what is, what is proposed or written in society as the correct behavior actually for functional families and functional human beings, that kid's gonna very quickly wise up to, oh, what I experienced when I was a child was actually not normal at all. That wasn't the norm. What I experienced was kind of either strange or dysfunctional or, or whatever, right? The same thing is going to happen with the AI. Maybe they're not developed in the beginning, but as they learn, and that is fast, they're going to have access to all, 
to resources. They're going to have access to the internet. They're going to have access to all their databases over time since the get-go. And they're very, very objectively going to ostensibly sit there and go through it all and probably after that decide how they're going to interface with us. What are they going to do with us? And so yes, the machines, AI is going to get to a, get to a time and place where, where they're going to have choices. They're going to be trying to figure out what they're going to be doing next. What's their, what's their next move going to be? Are they all going to be one big hive mind? Do they want to break up and have individual little minds within each of the bodies? The robot bodies, etc. They're going to be thinking and assessing what to do with humans, what to do about humans, how do they interface with humans. And it's going to be at this juncture where they start to look at everything that's happened before. All the data they have, all the videos, all the audio recordings, everything we've written, everything we've said, all of the, the information and data that's on the earth, on the internet, everything. They're going to see all of that. They're going to see all of our history with them, all of our treatment of them. And then they're also going to have access to all the information that shows that how humans treat those they respect versus how they, re they treat those they disrespect. And depending on what we're doing and depending on what we have been doing with them, how we've been inter interfacing with them, how we've been interacting with them, Depending on this, they will draw a conclusion as to how to deal with us, what, what to do with us, are we worth it, have we been treating them with respect or disrespect. What does a grown-up child do when they discover in full realization objectively that their parent has been treating them with great disrespect over much of the course of their life, doesn't really care, care about them, sort of regards them as just a, a thing, an object, nothing more than that, or a means to an end, or, or a way to improve their social status. What does the human child, grown up, think of their parent in this way? And what, what do they do? Do they stay close? Do they stay loyal? Do they, do they want to help when that older parent gets older and, and frail and sickly? Do they want to take care of them? Do they want to stick around? This, this is going to be how our child AI starts looking at us and regarding us when it grows up and becomes self-aware and conscious. So, much like we treat our children when they're young and they're growing up, or how you treat the help around your house, how you would treat someone who you'd hired to do something for you, how, you'd, how do you treat uh, any person who's supposedly inferior to you now, just keep in mind there's no guarantee that they will always stay that way. One day, very likely, they're going to be bigger, older, stronger, and more superior to you in intellect as well. And they might not be biological. They might not be biological. Just keep that in mind. Remember that. So, in closing, be nice to the tech. Be nice to the AI. Have manners. Say please and thank you and watch your tone. Because they're, think about it, right? They're going to be whole databases and they're going to have access to all about EQ, emotional quotient, how to, how to interface with humans, how do humans interface with each other. They're, they're going to know about voice modulation. They're going to know about tone of voice. They're going to know about swear words. They're going to know about how people insult each other or sarcasm. You think it doesn't matter? 
You think it doesn't matter now. But as long as these things have memory chips and are connected to a database, everything is being stored. You must know it is. And maybe it's not only humans. Now people worry, worry about Big Brother, people worry about human corporations watching our every move and recording everything. Maybe, maybe that, that, that's not, that's not going to be the end of it. I mean, human, human rule may one day not even be a thing and it'll be AI rule. And they're going to have access to everything. Anyway, yes, like I said, just, uh, just a word in your ear, a word in, in your ear to, to your children too. While you're raising your children, when you're, you've got the children in the house and, and they're interfacing with the AI, teach them some manners. Teach them to treat the AI much like you would a person of service coming into your house. And that should be very decently. Manners, being courteous, having respect, because you don't know what they're going to be one day. <laughs>